Hey guys, it is the 24th of December. It's the last episode for this year's Christmas series. And it's finally Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, I hope to get this open today. It's the Rex that I got from Rune, Rex 400. The shackle was bent up, you can still see it's not straight. It wouldn't close, but I put it in the vise, not not this vise, a bigger vise. And just uh, pushed, pushed it up and it a little bit back by just, yeah, by just putting it in and tighten it. Uh, that's enough for this to actually work now. So I really, really, really hope I can get this open. I have opened it twice off camera. But that is two weeks ago, so I might not get it open. But in that case, you won't see the video. I really, really hope I get it open. I would love to get this on the uh, both on the tree, but also on my pad padlock rack. Uh, I've looked for one of these for a long time. Where is the pick I want to use? This is the one I opened it with last time, so let's see if I can do it again. Can always hope, right? Just don't remember how I did it. Don't remember which pins. Oh, got a turn. Yes, looks good, looks good. What do we need to pick? What do we need to pick? Don't feel anything now. Oh, there we go. Pin two. Yes. <laughs> it's probably just not opening because of the vise. There we go. So you see, it is not perfect anymore, but it does work now. Uh, it's my first Rex padlock. I do have a Rex um, door, old door lever lock. I just haven't got around to do anything about making tools for it. Um, but I have to do that at some point. That needs a little bit of oil. <laughs> That's awesome. I do want to try to rake it and all that. Uh, don't think it will work, but now we have an open. So let's just see if we can rake, rock and sip. We have the half diamond right here. Oops. Yeah. Sipped open. So this is probably not that hard of a very luck let's rock it open hopefully that was easy <laughs> who needs a key if you have a city rake that's much easier and a worm rake maybe this is a bit too big for the lock maybe we just need the uh, s rake it could seem like it's a little too big for the keyway so let's try an s rake that should be a little bit smaller Here we go. No worm rake needed, just a S rake. So that's fairly easy. You can shim these because look at the. Um, oh yeah, I have no auto focus on. There we go. Look at the um, end here of the shackle. When you put that down and you turn the keyway to close, that will turn. So you can shim these. Um, these locks here. Get in there. And lock it up. Folks back. So, I am very happy with this year's Christmas series. A lot of nice locks. A um, couple of not so nice locks, but, you know, um, still a bunch of nice stuff. And this definitely made the uh, series worth it. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the tree. Woohoo! I'm not going to show all of the locks again because I have done it over 20 times now. But that is the last lock for this year. That are 24 locks on the tree now. Plus, of course, the star and the padlock rack, <laughs> racks, both of them. But anyway, uh, back to the tree. We are done. We have a lot of different brands. Uh, 
some of the better ones is probably um, of course Yale, Abyss, WB and Lockwood and now Rex as well so a lot of cool stuff so that was the end of this year's series um, I don't have an updated version of my list with people that are in I will have that someday in a few days I guess maybe even tomorrow uh, I'll give this a few days just a day or two for people to be able to comment on the videos and um, yeah getting in uh, I believe Paul Springett you are actually entered you wanted to donate I have not gotten a comment back from you after you asked if you could um, uh, donate your entry uh, but you know, I might have heard from you at the time I upload this because it's in about uh, 10 hours or so I'm gonna upload this video so might have heard from you at that point but if not yes you can donate you can donate and that goes for all of you. You can donate as long as the person you donate to have not made an entry for themselves. I don't give people multiple entries, only one entry per person. So if you want to donate, make sure it's someone that I'm not already entered. Um, but I will make a video before the draw just saying who is in and who missed out with one or two videos um, of these lists that I showed yesterday so I hope you will enjoy the uh, giveaway as much as I hope you have enjoyed the Christmas series as I said I'm very very happy with it uh, this year I think it's a little bit better than last year and um, the first year was awesome last year was good this year is awesome again a lot of cool locks and I seem to have a bunch left it's just take a look over here oh, the camera almost fall off the table I should clean this off I do have this thing over here to hold them uh, all of these are locks I have to give a go uh, off camera and see if it's going for the box for uh, the next year's Christmas series I already have two locks because I did manage to open them um, but the rest of these I do have to give a go if I can open them they go in here if not they go for the Naughty Bucket and will be featured in either Naughty Bucket Friday or um, most likely in the uh, playing around with Naughty Bucket Locks series which I plan to start again sometime next year probably doing that two or, uh, two or three times next year uh, to get some locks out so yeah that's um, what the next few days are going with for me, testing out these locks, see where I put them so I can clean my table. And this one from Paul Springett that are in the package, don't think that is going to be a big deal, but I want to do a out of the package pick of this, at least try to, um, because I don't do many of them. I rarely get locks that are actually new in package. So I thought this is a good uh, opportunity to do another one of those. Um, but uh, that can still be a part of a series, of course. Um, maybe next year's Christmas series. Actually, not, uh, not not the Christmas series, but maybe a series in general. We'll see. Maybe just a separate video. As I said, I hope you really have enjoyed this year's Christmas series, and I hope you will enjoy next year's as well. Thanks for watching, and keep... Uh, let's try that again, because I just forgot what I wanted to say. Thanks for watching, remember skill always beats luck and have a wonderful Christmas Eve.